Honduras is launching its blockchain-based land registry. No, it doesn't. Hi, I'm Dr. Alexi Kanashej, and you're on Blockchain State. I'm continuing my series of case studies, and today I would like to discuss the case in Honduras. There is no case in Honduras, and there has never been a case there. Even though you can find multiple media articles and even some mentions in academic papers, it was a hype that once popped in 2015 and since then proliferated by unscrupulous journalists and researchers that didn't bother fact-checking. Nevertheless, even in 2022, this thing pops up again and again. So let's take a closer look at it. The story began in 2015 when two blockchain startups, Factum and Epigraph, started their conversation with the government of Honduras about securing land registry records on blockchain. Even Reuters wrote about it. But in 2016, Coindesk wrote that the project stalled, citing Factum's executive Peter Kirby. The journalist clarifies that government officials have never publicly commented on the deal. Based on the CEO's words, the startup had plans to develop a blockchain-based land registry system in La Ziba, the fourth largest city in Honduras. Factum provided documents upon the journalist's request, including emails with officials from the Honduran government and a non-binding letter of intent for a joint venture between the two sides. And I don't have reasons not to believe the journalist that uh, these documents did really exist. Another source, an academic conference paper, Blockchain and Property in 2018, at the end of the beginning, provided probably the most comprehensive details about the project. Authors devoted five pages describing a lot of intricacies from their story. Who met whom, when and where, and what they discussed. The authors did a great job of turning this story upside down, though uh, it's irrelevant for my format. And like I said, there is nothing to study. Even if we can formally say that there was a project, we have to admit that it produced nothing but a bunch of emails and that letter of intent. Nevertheless, the paper argues that when two companies discontinued their collaboration and attempts to develop their project in Honduras, one of the companies, Epigraph, kept working on technology for land registries and even demonstrated some middleware solution, quote, that sits on the Ethereum network. It's designed to work with existing land registry programs such as ENOLA, allowing governments and NGOs to secure registries to the blockchain without building an entirely new blockchain registry system. I don't know how exactly it worked and secured land registry records on blockchain as I couldn't find neither this application nor the company itself. All my searches indicate that both companies, Epigraph and Factum, as well as their undertakings disappeared in the blue. Heads up, new case studies are upcoming. See you in the next video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you.